Hello, good evening. How are you? I hope you're well, wherever you are in, in any part of the world. It is Aloha Kemi Sege here again. It's the 2nd of April 2020 and it is just 5 um, p.m. I hope we met you well. Um, I know the whole world is facing a lot and uh, the uh, uh, is facing crisis now and that uh, we are all required to stay at home if you are supposed to stay at home i hope you all are staying at home and staying safe and if you are a key worker and have to go to work our prayers and, and thoughts are with you that you are safe as you go out to help with whatever service you provide to the public and that you come back home safe to your family uh, anyway it is me again Oluwa Kemi Osege. welcome back to my youtube channel I have today with me my daughter, Hi guys. who is going to be assisting me today with whatever it is she can assist me with. We want to prepare um, dinner, and a simple dinner really, so we are preparing turkey tea. And to do that, we've got our ingredients all laid out, I mean here, I hope you can see, or oh, I'll bring, try and bring them forward to you. I've got them um, here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six um, teens of 400 grams, of, sorry, of, uh, yes, of 400 grams of tomatoes. Um, uh, I've run out of the plum one, so I've added uh, some uh, chopped ones as well. So it's about tomatoes here. And I've got, of course, I've got my turkey, which I'm going to be using to prepare the stew, already cleaned. And I've got um, my pepper. In here, I've got two bulbs of onions. I've got um, hot bunny pepper. I think a total of about um, eight or ten in there. The pe I may decide to use eight or nine. We we love pepper in my house, especially my husband. So we that's what I'm going to be using. And of course, I've got two uh, um, large tatashe here, long pepper. I've got an equivalent equivalent of two large um, ones in here, which I'm going to blend together into a smooth paste with my tomato, plum and chopped tomatoes. And um, whilst we are getting on to that, of course, I, I've got, I'm going to have um, salt to taste and um, maggi no chicken also to taste. No, sorry, no chicken seasoning to taste, and um, Maggi Niger hot pot again to taste. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to utilize in those um, individual items in a moment. Uh, okay, now to what to start with the boiling of uh, or per boiling of our turkey. I'm going to transfer that in my saucepan. In my pot, I uh, hope you can see that I'm going to be transferring my turkey, fresh turkey, uh, in into my pot. It's already been washed and cleaned. Yes, I think I stated it earlier. In case you didn't hear when I stated it earlier, my daughter is just um emphasizing the fact that the turkey has already been cleaned so into that we're going to be adding one bulb of onion and as i said earlier yeah um, we're going to be adding one bulb of onion um into this um turkey chopped in it whilst i'm doing this my daughter will be blending this into a smooth paste usually um, if I would have usually I parboil my um, pepper before I use it, but usually I would have done this prior so that my stew when I start to cook it would just take me probably about um, 15 20 minutes to prepare because everything would have been parboiled before now and stored. But uh, because we are at home so, and I don't have any, I might as well do that and then probably for a, 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 between 30 to 45 minutes on its own just does the pepper paste for some of the water to drain out and for it to cook before i pour it into my um hot um, oil so whilst i'm preparing the uh, chicken uh, turkey my daughter will be 
blending these tomatoes and onions and pepper mixture into that um, into my turkey I'll be adding four cubes or four double cubes of no chicken and in addition to, I've already squeezed my Maggi cubes in the turkey I'm going to be adding one teaspoonful of um, salt and then another teaspoonful of um, just a little bit more of um, dried thyme and also one teaspoon of um, hot curry powder to my turkey and I'll be adding a couple of um, bay leaves just to give it an added taste uh, just to give it an added taste and um, my turkey doesn't have water in it after I cleaned it if you notice earlier I was I took it out from this basket after I cleaned it I left it in the basket for a couple of for about um, 30 minutes to allow the water from the meat to drain because as you are aware, most of you are aware, most uh, the meat, meat has got its own water containing it. So by the time it starts to boil now, those, all that water will start coming out. So if you're not, if there's not additional water added to it, it will, there'll be too much water actually. There, there will be, you end up with too much, too much water actually in the meat or turkey or chicken, whatever it is, meat thing you're cooking. So I've just stirred my ingredients used uh, spices together with my turkey so I'm now going to set to boil this is going to boil for a minimum of 30 minutes between 30 and 45 minutes for it to cool and yes so now we wait for the pepper to be and you can see the Tomatoes, onions, and um, pepper and long pepper um, mixture is all blended together. We added a little, as little water as possible. So we're going to put this now on the burner for it to burn for a minimum of 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes or so for uh, it to cook actually and uh, boil. And now we'll come back, we will then come back to you when both of these are ready and to commence our proper cooking of the turkey's tea. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Hello again. Welcome back. Um, we've got. We've now. We're now about to start um, preparing our stew properly now. I've got my saucepan in the on the burner, and obviously I'm going to add a bit of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, just about a cup, up between um, half a cup and um, 75 mils or a cup and a quarter. And I'm then going to allow that to allow the oil to steam and heat up a bit for about two minutes. And in my heated oil, vegetable oil, I'm going to be adding a one bulb of chopped onions. Yes, onions had added taste to a stew, so to any, any cooked meal actually, so the more the merrier. Allowing my onion to saute for about uh, a couple of minutes, and then I'll be adding my avoid blended pepper, onions, and long pepper, mixture. Now I'm not adding my pepper mixture into the pot oil and onions. I'm going to reduce my heat a bit, a bit, heat a bit so that it doesn't splatter all over the place. 
let me add in it so that to avoid any splatter. Now I'm gonna stir. Because most of the things now that I'm adding into this saucepan has already been prior prepared, the stew, the preparation of the stew is not gonna take long anymore. Probably the whole process will probably take me about 15 minutes to get done. And in my pepper mixture, an oil mixture, and I'm, I'm now going to pour in, I'm gonna add my parboiled turkey with, to in, with the water actually. We're adding it into so we're now adding my turkey into the pepper and tomatoes mixture. And I will also be adding the stock, the turkey stock, into the stew. It gives it an additional taste. It gives it an added taste. I'm not going to add any salt or seasoning to this at this stage because I will allow it to simmer for about five minutes for everything to simmer together and then I'll check for taste. If there's any need for me to add any more seasoning, I will add. However, at this stage, I'm not going to add anything yet. I'll check for today because the turkey and this the turkey already had as you saw earlier I already added um, margin seasoning and salt to it although it's not going to be enough to for the oil stew and the pepper and onions blended now but um, it's better for me to check for taste first before I begin to add anything more all right I'm going to leave that now to simmer for about um, five to seven minutes and I'll check for this and add if needed accordingly. See you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. Yes, my stew has been um, boiling now, simmering now for about 10 minutes. I have checked for taste and uh, I'll need to add more seasoning. So to this, I'm going to add Maggi Niger pot. Maggi Niger pot. I'm going to be adding two cubes of this and one teaspoon of salt to this now. So I'm going to add, um, I've added one teaspoon of salt to that. Yes, uh, the other salt finished, so I've got a new pack of salt. Uh, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water to this because it appears enough and uh, the stew is very thick. Just a little bit of water, just a, a, a quarter of a cup of water. My stew is at my desired taste. So I'm going to now leave this to simmer for another five to seven minutes. Increase the heat a bit and then um, my stew will be done. Hello again, welcome back. Our soup or stew, turkey stew, is simmering. Let me show you. It is quite bubbly bubbly and splattering all over the place yeah, it is completely done the cooking is prepared I mean it's complete I've checked for taste it tastes perfectly as I desired and our job here is done that's my turkey stew completed Thank you for watching. We will be serving this as to you with rice today. Tonight. We'll be sharing, we'll be serving it with rice. I'll show you a picture of it after I serve it. Okay? Thank you for spending your time with us today. Yeah. 
If you love our video, please love, please like, share and subscribe. Comment, share and subscribe. If you have something to say that we've done, that you think we did well, we will appreciate your commendation. At the same time, if you have something we couldn't have done better, again, we will appreciate your constructive criticism. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your week. And please stay safe and save lives. Signing out. Olua Kemos again. And Chloe. Bye. Bye.